Hi guys, it's James here from Sunseeker Southampton. I'm down at our pool base, Sunseeker Pool today, which is next door to the factory shipyards, uh, to bring you a tour on a three cabin Sunseeker Predator 50. This is a brand new boat that turned up with us literally just as lockdown happened a few weeks back. Uh, and it's the first time we've done a tour on a three cabin version of this popular model. So I'll just spin the camera around behind me. You can check her out for the first time. As I say, hugely popular this, this size, uh, build around 50 units. And she's uh, she's hull 764 is our, our factory project number for her. Seen here with a, a standard rail white gel coat exterior and then the trademark black gel coat uh, stripe running there that we call the boot top stripe just along the waterline running back to the aft quarters there. Massive signature glass hull windows here. So loads of natural light down into the cabins below. It's hard to really stand back with the boats packed in into the yard here to fully appreciate the um, the aggressive shape of the boat but it's a it's a pretty very pretty uh, pretty shape loads of loads of natural light there also up top you see the glass windows into the main deck saloon she's got the uh, hydraulic bathing platform on the back here which will lift 450 kilos so there's space to put a, a jet ski on the back here and then rare on a boat of this size we also have the dual option for the, um, the garage as well in the middle there which will take up to a Williams 325 jet tender needs a custom cushion but it tucks away nicely if you want to keep that platform clear for, uh, for standing on and off the boat uh, further upgrades on this particular boat as she's got the offshore package uh, things like proportional thrusters so we just come in here you can see there's a, a side power stern thruster on the transom there and we've got Lumashore underwater lights here so they're sitting on the, the transom you'll see four of them running across the back of the boat obviously a shaft drive model so we're uh, we're twin d8 600 horsepower volvo penta engines gives a top speed around 32 knots so still pretty sprightly to drive and just coming up the top here we can start to uh, to appreciate the quality up close so we've got teak package on the the platform and up into the cockpit as standard it would be possible to retrofit teak up on the side decks if you wished uh, we're not not there at the moment uh, we've got second set of cleats here which allow the uh, crossover lines for your spring lines in the med uh, also lovely carbon fiber ensign staff here on the back part of that package uh, there's a passerelle this is a letterbox passerelle in the back here and obviously a plug-in for a shore power lead as we first coming on and then moving up into the cockpit we've got stern docking winches which have a foot switch here uh, again part of the package and a nice panel for uh, passerelle, garage and um, bathing platform controls here and then tucked up behind the door this is the um, all the lighting controls so everything's nice to power up as you first walk onto the boat you can see how big this cockpit really is massive space for dining we'll open up this huge teak beautiful piece of teak imagine a good eight people a couple of directors chairs one either end of that table and then up on top, if it's out in, uh, in warm climates, we've got an electric sun awning on the back there, which comes out over the cockpit here. And then this backrest cushion comes forward to give you that large sun pad. Uh, we'll head up and do outside first before going in into the cabin. So we've got uh, a, a silver sprayed roof here. There's various options color wise, but this particular boat done with the silver. Uh, additional handrails here spec just to give a little bit more security walking down the deck but if i just drop down you see how high these rails are so it feels very safe walking around the boat you've got a nervous crew uh, elected to go for the electric drop down window by the helm here so very easy visibility from the helm we'll see that in a sec when we go inside and then up forward uh, we've got a, a large u-shaped seating area here which um cushions are inside at the moment just to keep them protected but we've got storage lockers on the on the sides and in the middle and then these two panels here actually remove and you've then got a, either a sun pad with them in or uh, or just large expansive seating area with them out and um, this is a lift up here a uh, lift up pram hood style sun awning so it just gives a little protection if you want some shade um, and then we've got a an exterior audio uh, package as well so you'll see the speakers up here and there's a fusion remote control up by the cup holders there on the port side of the boat. 
um, LED deck lights throughout. So you'll see these little LEDs feature lighting. If you check out one of my other YouTube videos on a 50 Predator, you'll see it lit up at night. It's a very pretty shape. Um, and as it's a warm day here today, I've just popped the roof open, so let a bit of heat out inside, but it really does give uh, a load of natural light down into the, the main saloon there. Uh, part of the, again, part of the, the premium package that she's got fitted is that open array four foot Garmin HD radar. And up top there, we've got a TV aerial, twin trumpet horns, and an aerial for the GPS. We head back down into the cockpit here. We'll head on inside. Uh, it's worth pointing out here this large expanse of uh, glass window. Normally you'd have an open cockpit boat or a closed boat with patio doors. We've got the option now with, with two little catches on the inside here that actually we can we can open these two catches and the whole fruit, the whole um, window here actually comes up into the Find the right button to push. It's not the uh, fastest mechanism in the world, but this, just while it's carrying out its process, talk you through some other bits on the boat. This, this retracts up into the roof and it then creates this very open feel throughout the boat. So gone are the days of having to, to split your party up. You can now incorporate everybody. If you're in northern climates, you put your heating on inside with that door shut and it's a, it's a real warm, homely feel. But if you're out in the med and you want to open that roof, get some ventilation through the boat and running along with, with everybody sat uh, spread about. You've got plenty of seating here and um, it really opens the boat up. So obviously there's a main deck living area up here. Um, as a three cabin option, there isn't the lower dinette. So we've just got the one seating, seating area up here on the top port side as we come through the door. Fabric upgrades on this particular boat. So we've got a, a lovely striped upholstery in the saloon here. Um, abundance of scatter cushions in some funky colours just to give a, a bit of vibrance to the boat. And then we've got the um, Cadoran hardwood um, floor here in the saloon is an upgrade. So standard would be a carpet, but this makes it very practical if you want to walk up to the helm with your shoes on, or if you're in the med with wet feet and what have you, just protects the carpet a little more. On the starboard side, uh, we've got the, the saloon TV package. So hidden in here, I won't bring it all the way up, but just lift the lid to show you you've got a a 40 inch Samsung telly on a high-low bracket so that will come all the way up here blocking out the window view uh, it's got a DVD player and Bluetooth connectivity and there's an, a seamless transfer on the entertainment system for the inverter so it'll switch between mains and battery without having to power systems down if we head on in on the starboard side here we've got a lovely glass and bottle store cupboard and then there's an optional wine cooler that we've elected to go for and an ice maker as well. So nice little wet bar with a sink, um, air con outlet on the back here. So you've got a tropical spec air conditioning system which will reverse cycle and give you heat as well as cooling. Uh, worth pointing out she's on two pin electric European plugs. Easy enough to change back to three pin if you wanted to, to keep the boat here in the UK. Little storage cupboard there with um, with the DVD player for the telly. And then up opposite the helm, we've got a nice raised seating area here on the port side. So if we just sit down here, you can appreciate lovely glass view. You imagine four people quite comfortably facing forward whilst the boat's underway. And if you want to stand up and get the wind in your hair, you can, you can very much stand up here above that um, ridge line of the screen. Standing down and coming across, we sit at the helm, which is really ergonomically laid out. So we've got uh, centerline steering here that's a, a tilt style, typical Sunseeker weighted badge there on the on the logo. And then we've got an abundance of LED switches controlling uh, delay features on wipers, um, electric roof, windows, anchor winch controls, that sort of thing. Control for the start and stop on the engines, a remote for the stereo. Um, this is a remote for Sunseeker's CM8 control panel, which gives bilge alarms, uh, tankage, navigation light controls, things like that. There's another panel downstairs, of course, a DSC VHF. And then as part, again, of that offshore package, we've got the second uh, Garmin glass bridge screen here. So we've got um, 
all your engine displays, navigation, AIS, depth, everything is all up on these screens now. So you'll see no engine gauges at all on the boat. Everything's digital, just like a modern day car. Um, no need to have that abundance of mechanical gauges you would have had in yesteryear. Up here we've got the proportional bow and stern thruster we mentioned earlier. They've got a station hold function so we can lock 30% power on, say on a, on a waiting dock for fuel. Uh, just allows you to get off the boat and do the lines if you're short-handed. It's a very handy feature and being proportional the thrusters don't get hot um, and cause the thermal cutout to kick in which is again something we, we used to suffer from years ago with thruster systems. And then Volvo ZVC uh, fly-by-wire throttles so they're one touch in and out of gear very easy maneuverability with the twin shafts and then a further upgrade on this particular boat again with the joystick docking so we bring the throttles back into neutral and then we've got complete control of the boat all controls through this one stick so twist the top it goes round in a circle push it sideways boats going sideways it's very intuitive and for those that aren't getting on a boat every weekend uh, it's a real um, confidence booster You can just see the inside from the, uh, the opening window I mentioned earlier. So we've got great biz down both sides, fore and aft here, to help with docking. And then tucked down below the helm seat here, we've got a, a little teak platform that drops down here. And that just gives another sort of four inches of height. And then all of a sudden, you've got your head up above the, the windscreen mullion again for, for great biz. If you want to run with the, you say, the wind in your hair. We head on down and you can see the main difference over the, the other tour on my channel of the, the two cabin Pred 50. So here would normally be a, a dinette with an L-shaped seating area and perhaps a telly. Um, this boat, say, is elected with the three cabin and we've got twin bunks. So with the door open here, you can see everything's covered up, so literally as it's brand new from the, from the shipyard, but lovely, um, very neutral colors on the beds here. And if we just stand up above the bed, these are all still um, storage lockers up top. So maximizing volume and if we move the the door here we've got an av system with a with a head unit and there's uh, two speakers up in the ceiling one here and one up at the head end of the bed great size wardrobe and you can see down here this lovely glass window with the opening port light as well so loads of natural light into what isn't a huge cabin, but still very practical. And then tucked up on the bulkhead there, little 22 inch TV and an air conditioning control. So they've got everything that the other two main guest cabins have. It's a really um, nice option if you've got young kids and you need the extra space. We can make the, the standard dinette version a converting, uh, converting occasional double beds, but obviously you would be behind a curtain. So having that proper door is a nice, a nice feature. Coming forward, this is our VIP guest cabin, which is currently configured in the, the V-berth configuration. These two beds will slide together, so they rotate round like so, and you can bring them into the center line to give you a, a large island double, depending on whether you've got couples or, or kids on board. And again, things like practical storage here, up on top, loads of nice deep cupboards. We've got a wardrobe here in the corner. Again, with an AV Fusion head unit, there's a 40 inch Samsung telly up on the bulkhead here. And again, independent air conditioning controls in here. Uh, there's a lovely feature skylight tucked up behind those um, ocean air blinds just to, um, to let, say, further light into here. And of course, the Jack and Jill access into the, the second head. So this is access from the main saloon area as well as the cabin here. And we've got of course our electric Tecmo vacuum flush toilet. There's a separate shower stall there with a soaker shower in the roof and a pull out handset. And then a little sink with storage cupboards underneath. We come on back here. So this is the, um, obviously a lower deck galley. We've got a couple of upgrades in here. So galley pack includes a convection uh, miler um, microwave oven and we've got a, a Fisher Paykel drawer dishwasher here as well two burner electric hob which fits in with the there's a 13 and a half kilowatt generator upgrade and then behind me here we've got the larger option fridge freezer so it's a good size if staying away on the boat for a few days 
at a time and things like storage and then up top here is our um, 240 volt panel so again that's a repeat of the cm8 display we talked about upstairs and then main breakers for for the mains power systems on the boat tuck down under the sink here again little storage cupboards you see a host of remote systems for all the various tellies on the boat of course a full uh, instruction a couple of days familiarization normally on a on a yacht like this to get used to all the systems and if we come on down this is the the midships master cabin so running full beam across the boat so these massive glass windows both sides with again with an opening port light and we're stepping down so main difference over the san remo which was the the boat that this boat replaced uh, is now we've got a full standing room all the way around the bed some real nice features with the stainless steel inlays in the in the bulkhead up there on the headboard lovely little reading lights either side of the bed so starboard side of the boat we have this nice breakfast bar with the the two seats and the table and then you've got uh, drawers either side of the bed and over on the port side of the boat again some more storage AV controls and up on the bulkhead there you'll see the again a 40 inch Samsung telly so it's very high spec with AV navigation and what have you very little really needed to, to turn this into a, a usable boat on the water again a good size wardrobe and there's a little safe down there for jewelry and what have you went away and a private ensuite so just have a look in here again your electric toilet uh, this is a Minerva synthetic stone on the on the bulkheads very nice finish and again a good size shower compartment with the soaker in the roof and the handset and what have you so um, we have basically a mirror image of the the other cabin forward uh, just run through my list to make sure I haven't missed any other particular extras we've got dimmers on all the um, LED interior and exterior lighting just softens that up a little at night what else have we got there's a larger black water tank on here so 310 litre black water tank the anchor chain's been upgraded so we're 60 meters over the standard 40 meters um, we've got a main deck protective covers package which just goes across the um, the independent seating what have you of course the standard the boat comes with a full enclosure which would cover around this this half cockpit area to allow you to use it all season uh, and the mattresses also have been upgraded to uh, to spring mattresses all all around so it's a very um say she's a very high spec boat listed here she's got a retail price nine hundred and forty six thousand pounds excluding tax uh, that includes pdi here in pool and we can of course arrange onward shipping with the main sunseeker distributors for the majority of european territories of course based out of here uh, with main offices in france spain turkey egypt etc so delivery for this season is still no problem at all we've got ships running regular services to all the main ports Cannes, nice genoa monaco etc so very much still an opportunity to get out on the water this summer once the um, restrictions are easing we're already seeing that happening throughout other mediterranean territories so we don't believe it's going to be much longer before we can again resume normal practice here in the uk uh, so if you'd like any further information my name is james say from sunseeker southampton mobile is plus four four seven seven four seven six eight six five eight seven or drop me an email to james at sunseekersouthampton.com i can send you a library of photos on this boat or any other boat in the range i say if a three cabin isn't what you're looking for and it's more the two cabin and um, i have other options of that as well that i can talk you through and of course they do the different wood finishes so this boat done in that um, satin walnut finish again we do the option with a silver oak if you prefer something a little bit more contemporary rather than the classic look we've seen here today so i so, hope you've enjoyed the tour uh, if you need any inf further information we look forward to hearing from you